G'day guys, in this video I'll take you through what's new in 2.10, the latest patch released today for the mod A World at War. Before I do that, in case you're having issues downloading, remember you need to uh, firstly try exit Steam, then go back in, do it a few times. If it still doesn't work, unfortunately Workshop can be flaky, so you may need to delete the folder and resubscribe to the mod and download it all over again. Um, so this patch brings quite a few changes. I'll show you firstly France. So France has got two new tanks. You'll see the Chabi one Ter. Uh, this is the uh, next version of the Chabi one. I think it was a prototype. I think there was two built or something. But anyway, it's uh, got front uh, frontal armor increased and the turret armor slightly. And yeah, it's basically a, a, a really tough tank. So I think the speed's improved a little bit as well. But the gun is still pretty similar. The turret, uh, sorry, this uh, this gun here can traverse a bit to the side as well. So it's a bit better than the other one. A bit more bit heavily armored so that you can withstand um, the other tanks at 450. Then you have the revolver, the Chabi one revolver. This is the post, uh, the post war, this is like a, I think it was a prototype, I can't remember which one was which, prototype or post-war. Um, but basically it uses the revolver, um, revolver system, which is six shots in succession. You can see it's really fast, the auto-reloader. But on the six shot, it will need to reload for a long time, as you can see. So it can kind of give some explosive power. Um, makes it a very unique, interesting tank at 500 MP. The gun's still not great. It's a bit of an upgrade, 57mm to the 47mm of the previous. Still will need to get a bit closer to take out the 50mm of the Panzer IV MGs. Uh, the armor for this one is similar though to the first Chabi one, so there are the main France changes. There's a whole bunch of balance changes which I'll go through, oh sorry, which you can just read. In fact, I'll just put them down in the descriptions. They're also in the change log in the discussions. So I'll go through now Germany. What you'll see here is uh, Bit of a revamp, revamp of the special points. <coughs> um, so the main difference is we took away two of the really crappy special points, like the Stukovist and the Karl Thor, that were useless in competitive gameplay, and put the Elite Commander on SP. So Elite Commander, whoops, sorry, bring that Elite Commander out. He's an officer that costs a bit of CP, four CP, I think it is, but it comes out really, comes out really early and. It has a lot of uh, line of sight. Probably a bad example because the greenhouses are blocking. I'll just go here. You could, you could uh, kind of get uh, vision of spawn even. See if it's if you really if you get your angles right. It's a big radius. It depends on what map it is, but I think it's a very good uh, special point. Though you do have to compete with the sniper, so I do kind of think it may be bought as a second buy, um, as a one pointer. <laughs> and be handy in team games to promote more get smarter gameplay and kind of matches with Germany to be the support defensive nation great support units and defense uh, the icon looks a bit funny should stretch it out a bit damn it uh, other than that you have the um, never worth I put it back in um, after a few suggestions and complaints people want it back in so I put it back the initial reason why I took it out was because it I found it prone to kill itself, but maybe it's just me. After talking to a lot of people, no one shared my sentiment, so it must have been just me. Um, <clears throat> so those are the Germany changes. Got Italy, so I'm not going to really edit this guy, so I'm just going to just do it on the fly. Quick, quick, nasty video. Get it out quick. <coughs> uh, Italy, you've got the... I'll show you Vet Veteranati, I think I did last patch. Uh, I'm not sure if I did actually, but anyway, the Age of Corps has reduced to 2 SP instead of 3. The difference now, it comes with less hit points, 150 each. Uh, still a stealth, but I think it, it's worthy of a purchase at 2 SP now. It competes with actually a lot of good 2 SP, so... <clears throat> and you get the Veteran Arty, which is a bit more accurate. Then you have... Uh, what was the main reason? Oh, that's right, the main reason I came here for is the new mechanized. They didn't have mechanized in the past, but now they do. So it's a very small, lighter, small squad, but it's very cheap for a mechanized squad. And the guys that get out are the, have some Panzerfaust, so three of them 
got the SMGs and the Panzerfaust. So you're kind of cool to rush a hill or something and camp them there. And this car obviously will have floor accuracy because of the guy manning it. Um, then uh, while I'm here I'll just show you the my um, demolition team has decreased in 10 MP because I haven't seen it being used much at all. Pretty much not being used. Our reconnaissance has changed. All, un all nations reconnaissance. Uh, 10 plus MP because the the basically the guy with the monoculars has the shit weapon. Now the other guy with the good weapon, so the grenade launcher, is free to fire and fight while this guy can spot. And there's a semi sniper in each of the squads, so um, basically it's the Finnish one, which has been taken out of the Finnish regular but put into the recon squad. So it will damage. But yeah, did the aim shot thing. Well, that's quite tiny. Oh, sorry, their pans are their pans are gonna do. No wonder. Um, so that's the recon unit. Um, yeah. So other changes are mostly balance fixes. Um, guess so I need to discuss. Ah, oh, one big one was the snipers. Snipers have limits on them, so you can't buy that many snipers. And that that thing, that's the hero snipers. Uh, that is. And yeah, check out all the other changes in the log. See you around, guys.